friends do subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for more such video updates friends today we are going to talk about photosynthetic pigments now when you talk about photosynthetic pigments these are nothing but pigments involved in the process of photosynthesis we need to understand that photosynthetic pigments they are basically of three types the first type is chlorophyll and the second type is carotenoids and the third type is phycobilins when we talk about phycobilins we need to understand that there are two important pigments in phycobilins one is called as phycocyanin and other one is called as phycoerythrin phycocyanin the word cyanin is related to blue color and phycoerythrin is related to red color erythrose phycocyanin they are found in blue green algae cyanobacteria phycoerythrin is also found in red algae when we talk about carotenoids we need to understand it has two components carotene and xanthophyll carotene it's like carrot so we say orange in color while xanthophyll is yellow in color the formula for carotene is c40 h56 and xanthophyll c40 h56 o2 you just need to add one oxygen to xanthophyll carotene synthesizes beta carotene which is a precursor for vitamin a and xanthophyll is a precursor for protein called as gluten when we talk about chlorophyll there are different types of chlorophyll chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d chlorophyll e and bacterio chlorophyll so what we need to understand chlorophyll a is considered as the primary pigment why because it can convert light energy into chemical energy whereas rest all are accessory pigments why they transfer their energy by resonance to chlorophyll a chlorophyll a is found in all plants chlorophyll b found in higher plants whereas chlorophyll c d and e they are found in lower plants like algae when we talk about bacterial chlorophyll they are found in bacteria friends now let's see the structure the chlorophyll the most important part the chlorophyll that comes in exam is chlorophyll a and is chlorophyll b so what we need to understand the distinguish between chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b when we talk about chlorophyll a it is called as primary pigment chlorophyll b is called as accessory pigment or secondary pigment chlorophyll a is called as reaction center because it converts light energy into chemical energy and b is called as accessory center chlorophyll a is bluish green in color while as chlorophyll b they are olive green in color when we talk about chlorophyll a we need to understand that they have methyl group at third carbon chlorophyll b has aldehyde group at third carbon chlorophyll a is insoluble in water but soluble in petroleum ether chlorophyll b is also insoluble in water but it is soluble in 90% methanol when we talk about formula for chlorophyll a and formula for chlorophyll b so let's understand we need to write most important thing for this that is carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and magnesium now friends we need to understand the formula for chlorophyll a it is c55 s72 o5 n4 mg and for chlorophyll b it is c55 h70 o6 n4 mg when we talk about molecular weight molecular weight for chlorophyll a is 873 and for chlorophyll b it is 907 what we need to understand next the most important part is the structure of chlorophyll when we draw the structure of chlorophyll we need to understand it has tadpole like configuration it's a kite shaped basically we can say consist of head and a tail 
the head is called as porphyrin which is having four pyrrole ring porphyrin head with a four pyrrole ring that is tetrapyrrole structure all pyrrole rings are linked by methionine bridge that is ch double bond now when we draw the structure of chlorophyll we need to be very careful with the structure so what we do we write the most important element for chlorophyll a non ionic mg that is magnesium in the center and four different corners we need to write n that is nitrogen therefore in the formula we write n4 four nitrogen involved draw hexagon from each nitrogen so what we get we get four hexagon structure next what we have we need to fill the ends the corner which is left so we draw a pentagon so a green color line indicates a pentagon so you have to draw the chlorophyll head in this way and from one end you are going to draw a long tail that is nothing but the phytol tail when we look at the head of the chlorophyll it is having a dimension of 15 armstrong by 15 armstrong the tail of the chlorophyll it is having 20 armstrong length when we talk about chlorophyll formula how to remember it so for this i have made a simple way to remember the formula for chlorophyll what we need to know we need to understand the magical number and that magical number is number 5 so remember number 5 so let's write the component of chlorophyll a as well as of chlorophyll b so chlorophyll a it is c that is carbon h hydrogen O oxygen and nitrogen Mg for magnesium same you are going to write for chlorophyll B so what we need to understand here number 5 so we write C55 when you talk about hydrogen look in the formula it is 72 so what is 7 minus 2 that is 5 so remember 7 minus 2 is 72 we write then O is also 5 nitrogen is 4 as we have seen in the ring so this is how you remember chlorophyll A B nitrogen has to be 4 and chlorocarbon has to be 5 5. Now, if you remember, the functional group of chlorophyll A was methyl and functional group of chlorophyll B was aldehyde CHO. When you compare the structure, you will understand that here two hydrogen atom in chlorophyll B is less and one oxygen atom is more. So, based on this idea, we can write the formula for chlorophyll B. We will write S72 is of chlorophyll A. 2 hydrogen less to H70. 1 oxygen more. So instead of O5, it will come as O6. This is how you can remember the structure of formula of chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Friends, do subscribe to the channel for more such easy videos. If this video has helped you to understand, give a like to the video. Encourage my channel to make more such easy videos. Thank you very much.